I'm going to make a game. What I learned from my last game jam is you just got to send it. In the spirit of sending it, we're going to use paint, Microsoft Paint. Copy, so bright, paste. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this game was sick. Yep. Uh, that's the vibe. Yeah. Yeah, James Bond. Boom, boom, boom. In case I forget it, three times. All right, so now all we gotta do is put that into a game. The goal of this project was to see if a host and client type game could support multiple people as well as see if it could support NPCs. New project made. Do you wanna make games with me? Gonna give it a static body mesh instance. And look, it's already Snow White, dude. Making games is so easy. Quick load. Boom. In the game. The game is finished. I did not get around to testing the NPCs and I ended up choking out my internet during our play test after about five minutes. So I need to send less messages next time. Add the sun to scene, add the environment to scene. Good to go. We gotta make a people. Character body? Mesh instance, quad mesh. Give him a material, Y billboard. Inspiration for Snow Game. We have people. We're gonna make it third person to start. Pro tip, just copy your code from your last project. Okay. Check out one of my last projects where I made a dedicated server in Godot. That one was tough because the server didn't know anything about the map. So by doing host and client this time, now it's like the host knows the map. And I was hoping that I could test like NPCs and then all the players could see the NPCs and do stuff with them. Did not get to that though. Okay, well it only took like 30 minutes to fix all the problems that were in the code that I copied over. But now we have a working guy. And that's pretty cool. The game's almost done. Just gotta make it multiplayer, really. Multiplayer? Multiplayer? Well, first we gotta make a start menu and then a join lobby screen. Join, join the host. Uh, so we're gonna lay things out vertically. Okay, we have a start menu. Looking pretty good. Our, our snow doesn't look like snow, so I'm gonna fix that real quick. <laughs> we got snow. What's up gamers, we're back. I got tired of coding, so now we're doing 3D modeling. I'm a man of many hats. I wear a lot of hats. You know what we need to do first? I need inspiration. Here we go. I'm making a big mountain. Subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Now we're cooking. Subdivide one more time. Boom. This is the size of our person. We're gonna sculpt ourselves a mountain. Big mountain. So, it's going pretty good so far. Keep getting into sculpt mode. We're gonna figure out how to make this look good. Is this clay? That sounds cool. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. I want it so you can't fall off the back of the mountain pretty much. I think if I smooth, It'll like just fix it. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so good at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going pro. I grab this guy. Pull him up. Pull him up. So that's our mountain. Crease seems good. I'm trying to make like ski paths, right? What does this brush do? Oh, whoa. Oh, I like that. It's gonna get beautiful in a second. Boom, beautiful mountain. Beautiful. Put this in a natural park. You ski like that, ski like that, and ski like that. And I think you'll ski like down the mountain like that. I, I don't go skiing that much, so I don't really remember what mountains look like, but I think this is what they look like. 
We're gonna build this cool fortress. We'll start with the cube and I'm gonna move it into place. I'm gonna scale it up by like, let's say 50. Move it up. So this is our fortress. I think I'm gonna mirror it. Sort of like a um, diamond looking thing. Oh, this is looking cool already. Here, we need like walls. We're gonna select these faces, inset them. Individual is cool. I don't think that's what I'm looking for though, right? Whoa, I have a trench going through it. Oh man. This is sick. Maybe I can uh, make the, the trenches here like wider. Extrude, no, that, that's not it. Inset faces, no, that's not it. Bevel, oh, beveling I think does it. Um, no, not really. I could do this and then just bring them down. Yeah, that does it. Made some progress on the fortress balconies and doors sort of um, so they're just up there and then I also made these tracks that you can ski down and right now I am working on figuring out how to make skis I've got skiing you can move around with the with the arrow keys and you see red is my input green is the downward slope this mountain's way too steep Mountain number two, looking pretty good. My mountain is still too steep, so I'm going to make it less steep. Or make it more gradual. That's a good idea. This project was cool because I just threw away all my expectations and just made whatever I felt like. Didn't worry if it was good or not. Huh. Alright. How do I do full screen? Bro, it's windy, dude. This looks great. Uh, can I move or where? I where am I? Uh, do I do I have skis? Where are my skis? <laughs> Aiden, you look so cool. I think we all look the same. Oh, we do. Is this where we ski drive on the red? Oh, where did I just teleport? Yo! It was a fun challenge to try to be intentionally bad to sort of break that rule in my brain where it's like everything has to be perfect. This is definitely a fun project, and I recommend trying something like this. Just make something dumb. Like, get out there. Do some dumb stuff. If the way you controlled the skis was physically by turning, like the house, that'd be cool. Watch like, out! Like, actual skiing would be kind of crazy. I want to be able to hit one of you guys. Yeah. If I, I, I thought that's what I was doing, and it felt supernatural until I realized that wasn't what I was doing. But it felt dope.